Hey guys, welcome back to the Films 128 channel. Uh, this episode, I had no idea what I was going to shoot. I was just knew that the weather was nice for a change, wanted to go out and shoot. Threw a, what did I throw in there? It was 400. Ilford 400. You know, can pretty much get away with it anywhere. Found some a great spot to shoot photos. And so let me show you what happened. And when we get back, I'll show you what we ended up with and see if we need to Photoshop anything. So here we go. It is one of the nicest days we've had in a long time. So I just feel obligated because I'm off today, obligated to go out and shoot some film. But I don't have any ideas on where at all. I've got nothing calling to me, nothing. I can't go too far because I got stuff going on later. So loaded in a Ilford 400 speed film. Figure play it safe because I don't know where I'm going to end up. And I'm just going to drive and see what catches my eye. And uh, that's kind of how this one, this whole trip's going to go. Is see, see if anything just jumps out at me and I'll stop and take a photo. We'll see what happens here. Found something. This train's going to make some interesting shots. Let's see what we can find here. Let's see what we can hearing some sound and I'm wondering if there's a train coming the other way and if there is that would be some kind of stroke of luck that I don't think I've ever had in my life. Obviously I'll move off of this track. It is. I hear a train whistle. Oh that's so perfect. But very very slow. Jesus. So I'm glad I bought 400 because I want to go over to this house. Well, it's not like it's moving, so I don't need a high shutter speed. I'm going to switch to an auto where the aperture gets the priority. So I'm not worried too much about the depth of field being super shallow. I'm worried about, I need a little leeway. It's my focus basically is what I'm saying. Go shoot something. Had no idea, stopped where I saw some parked trains, and look what I possibly got. Obviously, I gotta wait to see what the hell comes back on the film, but either way, even if it doesn't come out, I got the video of it, it was a cool video, and I had the experience of standing between two trains taking photos. So, I mean, even if it comes out like crap, I still had fun. Neat. Walk into the front. 
the other side of this train. Shame all these other ones have got so much graffiti on them. It's not even cool looking graffiti, it's just the ugly crap. We can go walk down there, get some shots of those. Kind of worried about where I left my car because technically there's no parking lot or anything. I just parked in that empty area. But. wanted that last photo and I don't think it's gonna come out or half of it's gonna come out or something but I've run completely out of film it's only a 24 exposure roll so oh well I think this ended up being a cool little shoot for coming out here with absolutely no idea what to shoot you know just driving aimlessly Coming across some trains parked and let me switch sides because that light, holy moly. But coming across some trains and then another train passing and then parked engine, locomotive, whatever the heck you call, I don't know. Hopefully I got something good. But this was this was a fun little shoot. Time to send the film off and uh, see what in the world I end up with. That turned out pretty cool. A lot of fun on that shoot. Let me show you what I got. I noticed the uh, I, the sun was beating down, so I think that the camera was doing an average of the whole scene. It was trying to get the shadow areas exposed right, but to do that, it had to blow this out to complete nuclear flash. So. This is actually, you can see the light radiating off of it. Let me make that larger for a second here. You can actually see the light radiating off of it. It's so damn bright. So a couple of shots had this happen. So I would definitely, next time, keep in mind if something's really reflective and bright, because um, I think one of these cars was actually painted white, definitely go, yeah, this was painted white. Take it down a little extra, go a little, darker rather than let it blow out like that. Oh, I like that. Let's bring up five and just see if there's anything. I really like it as is. Might not be anything I want to do to it. Let's just do classic auto tone. It didn't even do anything. Um, very little I want to do to this. This is a nice image. Let's just burn a little bit of the shadows down there. That's actually a cool shot. I like that. The least I have to do in Photoshop means success. Cool. It's an okay shot. Ah, this is when the train was coming. Let's see if any of these came out okay. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. That's cool. I would just straighten it up a little bit, burn, well, you burn the background a little bit, just straighten it, but it's still cool. Might want to try editing this one, then the, it's passing by. I just kept snapping away in case it looked good and going the other direction. That's not bad. Let's look at, let's look at this one real quick. Got the whole thing and this is nice and clear in focus. Let's look at 11. Shot 11. There it is. All right, let's straighten her out. Enter. 
Okay. Um, auto tone a little bit. I love the lens flaring right there. I'm almost tempted to emphasize it a little bit, but I'll leave it alone. Uh, I like back there, but I really would rather it just be a little bit blurrier. So my attention stays on the train itself. So let's just soften that background just a tad. Not a lot, not a lot. Color wise and everything, I just, you can see the, the detail in the steel. Like it's really, really dark, but there's still detail there. And you can still make out the roughness of the metal. And just, this is all, even though it's dark, you can still see detail in it. I'm really happy with that image. Let's see what else. So that was again it passing by. I was just snapping away just in case something looked great. Um, and that's not a bad shot. It's just nothing remarkable about it. And this is when I found that other area. Didn't even know it was there. Let's see. That's cool. I kind of like this one. Love the fact that there's just this piece of wood, this one little plant coming up, stick. This was in deep dark shadow the train so the camera was trying to compensate to get to tell me light meter wise that to get this exposed you're gonna have to go nuclear over there which I'm not a fan of Woo! you get an idea how dark it was over there though that's another shot of the train train enthusiasts might like something like that similar oh that was the end of the roll I think this one it's I like all this but I wish the train is just a little too far back. So let's, this is gonna take some serious rotating. Let's look at 19 and just see if it can be helped. I don't know if it's worth going any further on that because that's gonna involve me having to crop down to there, into there, over to there, and up to there. I actually don't hate it. Let's see what we can do here. Auto tone did nothing for me. Uh, again, I want to blur the background just a little bit, make my depth of field a little shallower than it was, and maybe just burn this area right up front. Just adding a little more shadow to that. Try to burn it a little bit just to get it off of obnoxious. I don't hate that image. I don't hate it. It came out. I wish I had my camera straight to begin with, but I'll be more careful next time. But I still don't hate what I got there, so I'm gonna save that change. All right, so there you go. Not too bad for having no idea what I was going to go shoot. I ended up with a couple things here that I really like. A couple that are printable. Um, I mean, that's, uh, that's a success. So, we'll call this episode done. As always, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, check out the Etsy channel, something like that. You know, all those good things. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. It's moving at the speed of no with the uh, light meter. So I was trying to get these shadows area. Can I talk in English, people? I don't hate it. I actually don't, I thought that crop was gonna be too much. That's actually, whoa, what the hell? Stop, stop, thank you.